Welcome to lesson six, estimating differences. In this lesson, we are going to learn some strategies for estimating the answer to a subtraction question. So let's start with an example. We are going to subtract 7,853 minus 2,341. So remember, we're not looking for an exact answer when we're estimating. We want to know what the answer is about. So we want to know a close estimate to the real answer. So let's try with the strategy that we used before called front end estimating or front end rounding. So in front end rounding, I'm going to take the first digit of each number and we're going to keep that first digit. So the 7,853 is going to turn into 7,000. Everything behind that digit turns into zeros. And we're going to subtract from that 2,000. We're going to keep the 2. Everything else turns to zeros. So you can tell that the idea of estimating is to create a question that is much easier to do. And oftentimes we can do it in our head. If you can do 7 minus 2 in your head, you can do 7,000 minus 2,000. So you know that the answer would be 5,000. Another way to use front end rounding is to use the first two digits in each number instead of just the first digit. So 7,853, I will keep the 7 and the 8, and then the other two digits turn into zeros. And I'm going to subtract 2,300. Now this is a little bit more complicated to do. You may not be able to do this in your head, but it will get you a more accurate estimate. So because I can't do 70 minus 23 in my head, I'm just going to do it on the side. I'm just going to write 78 minus 23. 8 minus 3 is 5, and 7 minus 2 is also 5. So then my answer, 78 minus 23 is 55, and then two zeros. So this estimate is, like I said, a little harder to do, but will get you a closer estimate to the actual answer. So now I'll go ahead and try this problem. 5,684 minus 3,849 using front end rounding. Pause the video, come back when you're ready to continue. So remember, we're going to use the front digit of each number. So that's going to be 5,000 minus 3,000. And you know that the answer would be 2,000. See how simple it is when we use front end rounding? Our estimate's going to be pretty good, but we can use another strategy that's going to get us even a better estimate. So let's look at that. If you chose to use the first two digits when you did your front end rounding for this question, you would have had 5,600 minus 3,800, and your answer would be 1,800. And remember, this answer will be more accurate, will be closer to the exact answer than the previous one where you only use the front digit. But it is a little bit harder to do. I'm going to use the compatible number strategy. So a number line always helps to determine which number we're going to use. So I'm just going to make a number line here that's going to have 7,000 here, 8,000 here, and 9,000 here. So our number, 7,853, would probably go somewhere over here on the number line. So there it is. Okay. So I can tell that 8,000 is probably the best number to go with. If I was using front end routing, I would just use the 7 and therefore turn it into a 7,000, but I see that it's closer to 8,000, so that's the one I'm going to go with. For 2,341, I make a separate number line, 
and I would probably place that number somewhere about here on my number line. So that's 2,341. And I see that the closest compatible number might be 2,000, or even I could use the number that would be on this line, that would be 2,500. But to keep things simple, I'm just simply going to use 2,000. So I've got 8,000 as my first compatible number, minus 2,000, and that's pretty simple to do. 8 minus 2 is 6, so my answer is 6,000. You may recall that we used these numbers before when we did front-end rounding, and our estimate then was 5,000. While with this strategy, uh, compatible numbers, our estimate is 6,000. So compatible numbers are a little bit of a better strategy to use. They will usually get us a closer estimate than front-end rounding, but front-end rounding is simpler to use. So that's a decision you have to make, is which strategy would I like to use myself. So in this lesson, we learned about a couple of different strategies. First, we used front-end rounding, and we did front-end rounding with only using the first digit of each number, which got us an estimate of 5,000 as an example. And then we tried it being a little bit more accurate by using the first two digits of each number. And we had 5,500 as our estimated answer. We also tried compatible numbers. So with compatible numbers, we used a number line to find uh, a compatible number that's close to the number we were using. And for 2,341, we used 2,000. And so our answer in this case was 6,000. So we had three different ways to estimate, and we had three different answers, 5,000, 5,500, 6,000. And the actual answer, if you were to do this on a calculator, you would find out that 7,853 minus 2,341 gets you 5,512. So in this case, front end rounding using the two front digits got you the closest answer. Usually it'll be this, this way of front end rounding or compatible numbers that will get you the most accurate estimate. So have fun with your estimates. Watch the video again, ask your teacher for help if you need it.